Hi everybody, I'm Mikey and this is part of the Advent Calendar series that is a crochet along. For those working on the crochet along with me, every few days a new video will be available to advance you to the next part of your project. There are 15 tutorials in all to complete today's project. If you're finding this and the crochet along is done, all videos will stay up indefinitely. In the more information of this video, you'll find a link to the playlist where all the tutorials will be listed in order for you to play along. The entire pattern is now available for free. For those who don't need a video, refer to the video description to get redirected to the pattern. So in the meantime, let's begin with today's tutorial to advance you to the next step and of course wishing you the very best of the festive season ahead. So in today's tutorial we're going to work on the reindeer just as you see it's got a red nose. It's Rudolph. It's one sided so but it is three dimensional as you see here. It's got some antlers. It's got some ears and got a little bit of eyes if you can tell there and uh, we're gonna start. So we're gonna start off with the snout and work our way back towards the back. You'll need a bit of stuffing. Today I'm gonna be using Karen Simply Soft Tweeds in order to do it so it's gonna have a slightly different look than this one um, as far as like color wise but other than that it's gonna be the same. So let's grab our yarn and let's begin. So let's begin today you'll need a size F crochet hook in order to play with this one. So you're going to start off with a slip knot and you're going to chain a total of, of two. So let's begin. So one and two and what we're going to do is eight single crochet second chain from the hook. So in the first chain that you created, so second chain from the hook I want you to do eight single crochets in there. So one, two, three, This is four, five, six, seven, and eight. Just like that. And I want you to join with the slip stitch to the beginning. So if you're not sure, just count it backwards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Right there. So just join it there. And then we're gonna continue now to round number two. So round number two, chain up one in one single crochet in each going all the way around. So I'm not counting, I'm just doing. So just one single crochet in each stitch going all the way and then we're gonna join it with a slip stitch when we get back to the other side. So I just wanna make sure it's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I'm just gonna pop it so the middle is coming out towards me. It just is easier to work on it from this point. So it says repeat the second round two more, two more times. So just chain up one and you're going to do one single crochet in each of them and then join it with a slip stitch and then do it one more time. So do two more rows just as you know it, one single crochet into each and then meet me back here in just a moment. So two rounds are now complete and now I'm ready to move on to the head. So now what we're going to do is chain up one and then one, uh, two single crochets into each every single stitch going around. So just we're gonna start expanding. So two single crochets in each going all the way around and then join it with the slip stitch and I'll see you there in just a moment. So I'm gonna slip stitch to the beginning one and then the next um, three rounds are going, sorry, the next four rounds are all gonna be the same. So we're going to chain up one and it's gonna be one single crochet into each going all the way around. I want you to do this for this round and then three more uh, rounds as well. So you do this for a total of four rounds so that you can grow out the head. So it's one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Slip stitch it uh, to join and then continue again. So you get four rounds of single crochet in each. I'll see you at the end of that. So I'm coming up to the end of repeating that four times and I'm just slip stitching. So I want you to grab a little bit of stuffing at this point. You need to stuff it lightly to give it its three dimensional shape and um, I'm actually pulling stuffing from a pillow if you can imagine. Um, so what I'm just doing is just a little bit of stuffing is just enough to keep its shape and if you overstuff things and it bleeds stuffing. So it's just enough. You can see it's in there. Okay, so now what we're going to do then is that we're gonna finish off the top of the head here uh, in this round here. So we're going to chain up one and we're gonna do one or uh, two single crochets together every time around. So just go in the first one, collect it, leave it on the hook and then go into the next one, pull through and collect it. So you get three loops, pull through all three and you wanna continually do that all the way around. So come into the next one, pull through, the next one, pull through and then just pull through. So do that again and again and again. 
So at the end of this I want you to leave an extra long tail and then we're gonna use that to gather it all together and sew it together at the top of the head. I was kind of procrastinating the reindeer because I thought it'd be a lot harder than this. I should know better by now, right? Okay. Okay, so once you're all the way around just slip stitch it to the very beginning one. So you'll still end up with a slight hole here in the top which we have to get rid of. So just leave this as a longer tail and what we're going to do is just trim it and then just pull this loop through. Now with this loop I want you to put it into a darning needle. Sorry with the string. And I want you to collect the remaining stitches. So just going in. So I'm gonna pull it at the end. So just going into each stitch. It's like a closed line really. And at the end you're just gonna pull on it and it will close everything up at the top. So once you're back all the way around just give it a good pull. See, pulled everything and then just go across diagonal and then in the other direction. So it's good to go and so now what you're going to do is just go in and out of the work three times. So one, two, Okay, that one I went in the same path so therefore it fell out. So I'm gonna go one, go in a different path for two and then a different path for three. So you can't go exactly through the same fiber trail or it will ne never hold. And then trim. Okay, so there is the head now and I have things to add to it and etc. So let's uh, begin to work on the nose next and then that's the next part. So let's start working on the nose and we're gonna create a slip knot. To begin we're moving back to a size H crochet hook today. Um, you'll notice that I've been using the same size. It's just it's my own uh, preference when I go into crochet here on camera. So I'm gonna chain two and I'm gonna do six single crochets into the middle. So into the first one, sorry, second chain from the hook. So one and two this is three four, five and six and you're gonna notice that there's gonna be a slight hole in the beginning. Once you get your six just slip stitch it to the beginning one and then that's it. So this trim this yarn you need enough of it to sew it onto your project so trim it long enough and then just pull that through. Don't worry about the hole in the center of this. So let's take our project now and I'm going to just sew that right onto the project. So let's take the darning needle and position it in a way so you can look at the original and see it's kind of flat straight up like this. So we get to do that too. So just taking it through, just get it into position so that you can play with it and then just going in and out of the work to be able to put it on. You see it kind of wants to buckle up on itself to give the look of the, the Rudolph snout. And if you're not getting that then what you can just do is you can go across on an angle like that. See and that will pull things out as well. So once you think you're satisfied with that you can just get rid of your loose ends. So just using this just go in and out of the red section only. So one going into the red section again for two, red section again for three but go right through the actual head itself and then back out through the bottom. And then what you can just do is just trim that there, reshape and it will disappear inside of the project. So there is the Rudolph snout just like there. So let's make some ears. You need to obviously make two of them and using an F size so a smaller size crochet hook once again and you're going to chain a total of four. So one, two, three and four and it says to slip stitch second chain from the hook. So slip first into the first one. So just go into the back loop only, slip it 
and it says uh, one single crochet in the next chain. So it gives it a bit of a bigger look and then slip stitch into the last one. Okay. So once you get that done just trim this at, uh, long enough so that you can sew that onto your project. So just pull through. So use the starting strand and this strand together and when you go to sew it on you want to position it. So look at the original sample. You see it's more down on the side when you're going to attach. So please do that and do that with the second ear and I'll just come back to review on how to sew those on. So do your second ear now. So let's begin to sew on the ear. You have your starting strand and the one that you finish with. Try to make sure both strands are the same distance. It just is easier to work with. And you're just gonna fold them over and throw them into a darning needle. So using the, the picture and the sample you can actually position where the ear is going to be. So just start off, doesn't matter which side but make sure you're paying attention to where the nose is so that you can keep that in balance with each other. The ears are more slightly down than the actual antler. So coming through the ear, start coming through the head, go through the project. So go through the ear. Okay and then back through the head, come back around and then go through the ear one more time and that's it. So then just turn it over to the back side. So just going in and out of the project three times like I had showed you before. So I got one. So I want you to repeat this for the other ear. I don't need to show you how to put that on. Um, you just had a lesson now. So do this with the same with the other ear and then we'll start with the antlers next. So just weave in and out three times and then just trim it off. here in the back. So now it's root off the one ear grand ear right at this moment. So let's continue and get the other ear on and then we'll do the antlers next. So at this time I have my ears in. I don't have my antlers. We're gonna do those next and uh, then we have to embroider the eyes to create the loop and you're almost done. So let's uh, begin to do the antlers next. So let's begin. It says to use an M size crochet hook. That's a quite a large hook. That's the size uh, nine millimeter. So you're going to begin and you're going to chain a total of five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And now what you're going to do is that you're going to single crochet a second chain from the hook and then one into each of them. So turn it over and get the back loop only. So just go second chain from the hook and just go all the way down. Just like that. Okay, so now you're gonna turn your work and you're going to slip stitch in the first of the three stitch uh, and the first of the three. So just come right in and just slip stitch. So through and through, through and through, through and through. And now here what we're going to do is that we're going to chain two and then slip stitch into the same single crochet. So the same one. And then what you're going to do then is that you are going to single crochet in the last stitch. Just like that. Okay. So now you're going to just fasten this off and you're going to do this a total of twice. So what I would do if I were you is that use this strand here at the end and just kind of just use it when you go to fasten it off that you're going to just kind of bring the top together. So you see that you got a kind of a knob coming out. So just kind of going across, just create this so that it bunches this at the top. When you go to get rid of this loose end. Okay, so that keeps the knob kind of coming out and then just going through the project down. And the other strand that we're working with at the very starting is gonna be the one that goes right into the project itself. Okay, so just be a little bit creative if you want to and, and I need you to do two of these in order to have the antlers on the top of your reindeer. So do that next and uh, get the other one done and then um, sew it down to your project. So you wanna do it so that the antler nub is facing down just like you see there. So now we have to put on the eyes and we just need some black string in order to do it. So black yarn and I'm going to just 
create that and I'm not creating a slip knot or anything. This is more of an embroidery technique. So I'm gonna come up through the back side of this underneath and I'm just gonna position where I think the eye should be. So I'm looking at the original here to where I think it should be and all it is is that once I pull through I'm going to stop as soon as I see it disappear inside the back of the head. Right there, done. So now I'm gonna come up through the project and then back down the other side here. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back up through that project and then I'm gonna come out where I think the other eye should be. So you can see it's pretty dark, it's just more of a technique. Okay, so then you can see that the eye is there and then I'm gonna go back up and then out where I think it should be on the other side. and then back up to where the other one is coming out of. And I'm just gonna come all the way down the project out through the bottom. And there is my eyes complete. So once it's out to the bottom here, I'm just going to trim it. And then just reshape it to make it disappear inside and therefore I have my eyes like so. So what are we missing? Missing the top loop, so let's begin to do that next. So just using the same brown, the loops have been pretty much the same throughout the whole thing and we are going to then um, create the chain nine that we had already been doing before. Make sure this starting um, strand is a lot longer so that you can use it to sew. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine and then just leave an extra long tail pull that loop through. Give it a good tug on both sides and then fold it in half and then just pull out so that the yarn strands are getting to the same distance. If not, just trim it and then just fold it over and put it into a darning needle. So right where it is now, I'm gonna come through the back of the top of the head and I'm going to stop as soon as the loop is at the top and then go down through the loop. Okay, and then back through the project again and then through the loop again one more time and then I'm just gonna turn it over and just get rid of the last end. So I'm just gonna go back and forth in the project a total of three times just to get it stuck. And then as soon as that's in, you can trim it. And therefore there is my Rudolph and you can just shape it if you want to in all of that. So it, it matches pretty close to the original. Here I just used the Karen um, Tweeds yarn. It was actually, um, this is the yarn that I used, the Soft Tweeds. So I saw this over at uh, Michael's, so I really wanted to jump on it and it has that fleck in it. So it's a really nice unique look. So until next time on my Can't Be Half of Your Inspirations as well as the crochet crowd.com. We'll see you again real soon. Bye.